lucky miss!
up in Edinburgh is coming back up on me. There you are, Trevor. Ah, oh, if it ain't my favorite marksman, huh? How are you, Cletus? Fine and dandy, sir. You ready to hunt some elk? Ah, uh, beat satellite dishes. <laughs> Lead the way. Oh, here you go. Now, uh, put this in your mouth. A bad day hunting still beats a good day working, my pa always used to say. What is this thing in my mouth? And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? I'll explain that in a while. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are razor sharp. If they see you or hear you, you'll spook them. And they'll bolt. You gotta move slowly and quietly and keep that aside. But an elk's nose is his biggest defense. When you're tracking elk, you always need to watch the wind direction. If you don't stay downwind of them, they'll pick up your scent and be gone before you can say boo. Especially with that distinctive, uh, musk of yours. I'm calling pot and kettle on that, my friend. All right, this is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. You're colder than a mother-in-law's kiss. Don't be lagging back there. All right, stick with me. I'll lead us further in. Keep quiet and stay close. I ain't seen much else or nothing else out here. Oh, we're gonna have to see if we can coax one into the open. That's where that thing you've been chewing on comes in. Ah, yes. Please enlighten me. It tastes like old person. That's a diaphragm. Mm-hmm. An elk whistle for you and me. All right, give it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. Sounds like someone strangling a clarinet player, and I talk from experience. Shh, listen. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him.
got him. Pull the trigger. Internet, not too bad at all. Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. Now, remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. Okay, this is good. Same as before, nice and steady. Don't aim at something you ain't prepared to kill. Give the whistle another blow. You leave that dough alone now, Trevor. Now lay him in the shade. You got this now, Trevor. Uh, you're on your own for the next one. Tell you what, I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me a pic of your next kill, and we'll talk business. Ah, I gotta go. Uh, good luck. I'll holler at you in a while.
Got the photo. Another nice kill. So this is what I'm thinking. All this demand for wild-raised meat with them city folks right now? If we divide and conquer, I reckon we could make ourselves a tidy little sideline. Text me a photo of your quarry. I'll let you know what it's worth and come by to pick it up as soon as I can. I like my meat with some age on it anyways. Uh, what do you say? Yeah, I say we'll see. I got a few other irons in the fire at the moment. All right, well, the offer's there. And you can keep that elk collar. Was my grandma's before she passed. Uh, be hearing from you. Look, I'm sorry. This old I'm funky tired, motherfucker's so eyeballing me. I just me. saw the weirdest, funniest just looking remember, dude. Just always oh, come on, on buddy, somewhere in the world. I'll make it up to you. Welcome to I'm my shop, honey. Cups. What do you have in mind? We have a civilian requiring assistance. Thanks for stopping by. Avenue in Palacio Bay. Next part is where you are bleeding on the floor. Nowhere to go. Oh, no. No.
was entirely your fault! I've trodden shit with more brains. Just Let's fuck go! Off. Just take it! Twat! Fuck, fucker! Bullshit!
just hope that broke your goddamn neck! Wonderful. A veritable treasure trove. That's a perfectly good sock and an entire courgette. Just ignore us. Yes, don't mind us. Pretend we're not here. Okay. You're not Jock Cranley, are you? Actor and artist. I love your work. Oh, stunt double. Oh, our favorite show. Mrs. Thornhill, snap. Watch the birdie. Oh, we pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you did on that on that poster you did. Yeah, okay, all well, that would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh. uh, like that, huh? Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, maybe something oh. like this. Oh. Or like oh. that. Huh? You like that? That's enough, huh? you. you like that? Oh. 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 oh, hey. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Mm, wow, that's quite a woman oh. there, huh? Oh. We are not worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. worthy. We're, We're not, not I'm, uh, I'm not Jock, uh, what's his name? Cranley, big star in the 80s. We well, love celebs. Oh. That's why we came to Tinseltown. Yes, yeah. before we met you, we were trying to break in to Bruce Spade's house and steal his rubbish. The things these stars throw away. Oh. They're not like you or me. <laughs> Mrs. Thornhill has the most unbelievable collection of celebrity underwear and bathroom products. Things they've actually used themselves. You guys have a great vacation, all right? I gotta go. We could do with some help. All this climbing over walls and rooting through bins. It's such a business. Nigel's got an arthritic knee. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you need? Just a few Vinewood souvenirs for my mm. museum. No, no, look, look, look at this map. I mean, a lot of these places have famous people living in them and some that are just hanging about. Bring us some things. I'd be very thankful indeed. Americans are the most wonderful people in the world, aren't they? The best! <laughs> <laughs> Such fun! <laughs> ah, a pair of fruitcakes. What is wrong with you smoking in my house? You know, ever since that psychotic pal of yours turned up, you've turned into an even bigger asshole. Thank you. 
Your support in my difficult times means the world to me. I've supported you. I left everything to come here with you, and still that crazy bastard turns up. I'll handle it. How? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Just keep him away from me and the children, you low-life, whoremongering asswipe. Did someone say yoga? No, I think she said whoremongering asswipe. Hello, Fabian, darling. <laughs> Namaste, Amanda. Namaste. Are we ready to practice? Yes. Oh, yes. She's very centered. A regular you oasis of peace and tranquility, this with one. anger issues and worse friends. No you... wonder I'm so upset. You too. Please. Namaste. We practice. Miguel, join us, please. No, please, no. No, no. The yoga is for sharing. Oh. Come, come, Miguel, come. Oh. Awesome. Oh. So, Fab, if you can make me as happy and mellow as my wife, it'll be a job well fucking done. We are all on our own journeys, Miguel. Yeah, no doubt. So why is she driving a tank on hers? Oh. Perhaps to deal with your hostility, Michael. Now here is good. We have the sun and the Murabunda. The asshole. Now we begin to put the asshole to the earth. Yes, we begin each sequence. Katasana. Yes. Or mountain pose. All right. Uno. Deux. Trois. Mouth and anus. Perfectly in line. Show him, Amanda. Un, deux, trois. It is perfect. Now, Michael. I don't know about this. In the nose, out the mouth. Okay, Doc? A breath, please. Out with the breath. Who would have thought it possible? In and out with the breath, Mikhail. Let it out. It moves. Amazing. Now, in through the bloated nose. And out through those wrinkled lips. Just exhale, ah. Michael. Ah, my fucking back. We have a very long road to trouble with you. These are the basics. You must master them. Air through the nose and out the mouth. Let it out, baby. Strength, Michael. In the nose, out the mouth. Okay, Doc? Let it go. There. Strong. Like an erection of your youth. In and out with the breath, Mikhail. Out through the mouth. If we put him on a six-month kale-only diet, he might just get healthy. Or die. This is gonna have to do. Now we will do something more complicated. Sometimes, when I do this pose, I weep uncontrollably for hours. Oh, wow. <laughs> you feel that? The emotion inside? Let it go. Michael, join us. I feel like I'm channeling bullshit right now. The silly man forgets to breathe. Very good. Now let it go. <sighs> He's actually trying. I can't believe it. Breathe, Mikkel. Exhale. There. There it is. Now, you breathe. 
Let it out. You're turning red. There. Let it go. You can breathe, can't you? Out through the mouth. Are you taking this seriously, or is this some elaborate way to get at me? Yeah, I'm about to feel some emotions, all right. Remember, children, do not fear the unknown. We are the unknown. Show us, Amanda. I don't think Michael's up to this. Hmm. He may surprise you. Plank. Plank. Chaturanga. Chata. Yeah. Feel the flow. Mm. Everything mm. is flowing in me. Oh. Mike, would you? Hold your anus strong, my child. Take in the air and release it. Breathe out, please. Hold the anus. Your lungs, they work, yes? Out with the breath. Tell me you don't feel centered. Breathe, please, Michael. No vanity. Come on. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Let it out. There. Take in the air and release it. Out through those wrinkled lips. This is what I was talking about. Can't you see how blocked he is? Your lungs, they work, yes? Let it out, baby. Okay. Breathe, please, Michael. Good. You have come a long way today, Michael. Huh? Yes, later you will cry like a baby. Yeah, right. His chakras are completely blocked. Don't worry about him. Show me the downward dog. I'm glad we have helped with your impotence, Mikhail. What'd you say? Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back. What? Back, back. Yes, there you go. Oh, mm, oh, 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 oh! Hey, enough of that! We can... ah! Yoga is the answer, Mikhail. But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving and we are never coming back! Good! You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Ugh, fuck you! And that phony French fucking yogi! Ah! Jimmy, you still here? James! Go away! Oh, yeah. Fuck you. You know what? If there was a rape book. Nice TV. Did I pay for that? Soldier. Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? All right, come on. I want to go for a ride. I got to meet a friend. All right, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on. I want to get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on. This is fucking bullshit. Bullshit? Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. They're not my buddies. They're the only people you speak to. So where's your friend? Burger shot. Yeah, nice to see the kids are still hanging out at the burger joints. Me and the guys, we'd go down to the diner after class every day. You know, get milkshakes, fries, 
Ew, please. You know, you're really creeping me out. I'm trying to relate to you. No, you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip. You're such a cliche. Oh, says the dope-smoking, game-playing, live-at-home world owes him a living millennial. I knew it! I knew it! The mask was gonna slip! The monster's been exposed! The hell are you talking about? The real you! That bitter, vindictive old man! You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Jim. How many times... I love you. You really have to meet my friend? Yeah, I really do. Then please don't get weird. For once in your life, don't be weird. There he is, the friendly neighborhood drug dealer. <laughs> Yo, oh, brother man, what's man? up? What's, what's up, man? Doing? Good to see you. What are you turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's your old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? Mm. <laughs> ah, Jimmy, bro, your dad's funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh, yeah, you, you got that other thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man, what the fuck, Jimmy? Just, just hold on a second. Oh, all right, all right, later on. Oh, careful with that. Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing now. Is that what we're doing? Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, get a wheel driver! All righty then. Shit. Now what? what? Can we just get back to the house, please? So, uh, want a drink? I'm driving. Because normally you're such a between the white lines, friend to the pedestrian kind of guy. Fine. Give it here. Maybe when we get home. Ah, who's the square now? <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little woozy. You're fine. No. Really? This is not normal. Chill out. You're just paranoid. This is not paranoia. This is totally justified <laughs> concern. You should see yourself. I can't feel my face. Fucking crazy! Everything's. I gotta stop. Oh, who was in that? It's harmless. Vets have been using it for decades. What? You anesthetized me? You fucking shit. I'm you from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving out. What? Right. You're too crazy, Dad. Come on. Get out
Jimmy, you little shit. I'm home! I'm back! Michael, I think you finally lost your mind. Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who is a close friend, and then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. We've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm gonna speak to a lawyer. I'm just really confused. Please, don't try to contact us, and try not to get yourself killed. Amanda. Amanda.